Number eight, Vandals. The Rio Olympics broke countless headlines, and not just for feats of athleticism. Whether it was a fire on the mountain biking track or a countrywide doping scandal, these games were some to remember. The athletes who compete in the Olympics must surely feel that they've made it. I mean, come on, where else do you go once you become an Olympian? There's fewer greater honors, and some people take advantage of that fact. In this list, we've covered murderers and cheaters, but what about partiers? After all, if you've made it to the top, why not celebrate? And that's just what four U.S. swimmers did. Ryan Lochte, Jack Conger, Gunnar Bentz, and Jimmy Feagan were all beyond excited to be in Rio, to be Olympians. They decided to have a bit of fun before the games took place. After leaving a party, the four men visited a gas station in Brazil. It was here that Lochte claims one of them was held up at gunpoint and robbed, but the police weren't buying it. Upon further investigation, authorities told the press that the swimmers vandalized the gas station bathroom. The quote holdup happened after a security guard confronted them, asking them to pay for the damages they caused. Thankfully, after the news got spread, the athletes finally took responsibility for their actions and owned up to what they did. As a punishment, Ryan was banned from competing for 10 months while the others received a less severe sentence of four. And while we in no way condone the actions of these Olympians, we don't necessarily think they should be put on a stake for messing up a bathroom. What they did was beyond stupid though, we'll admit that. Number seven, widespread scandal. Russia has been seen as a great and powerful nation for centuries. Some believe that they possess many of the strongest people in the world, and their Olympic prowess and accomplishments would support that idea. However, the Rio 2016 games would prove to be an enemy to Russian pride. Right before the Olympics, a massive scandal was released to the public, showing how a state-sponsored doping ring for athletes was using resources to cover up drug test results. It was discovered that over 60 competitors were involved from 28 different sports. The use of performance-enhancing drugs was utilized in games all the way back to 2011 and possibly before that. In order to bypass the International Olympic Committee's drug testing, athletes were told to give urine samples before any drug use. Then, later, when doing the official test, the previous sample was smuggled in somehow and given instead of the positive urine. Because of this poor sportsmanship, Russia was barred from competing in international sporting events. You might remember a few athletes from the past Tokyo Games representing the ROC or the Russian Olympic Committee. This was due to the doping scandal. You may be curious how they were still able to compete after their country was banned, and that's valid. ROC athletes technically are not representing Russia, and they are unable to show the Russian flag. So basically, it's a strange loophole that those who weren't involved in the doping scandal are able to use to still compete. While we believe it's fair Russia was punished for their actions, we're also glad that those weren't at fault got to share pride for their sport this last summer. Number six, steroids. Sometimes the truth doesn't come out until after the competition has ended. Such is the case with Marion Jones, an Olympic runner from Team USA that competed in the 2000 Summer Games. She won a remarkable three gold medals in Australia, as well as two not-so-shabby bronze ones. In her early life, Marion was a star runner in high school, setting her on the track for world acclaim. After winning two High School Athlete of the Year awards and finishing first in countless races, she was invited to the 1992 Olympic Trials. It was here that she had the chance to be an alternate on one of the relay teams, but she turned it down, instead opting to go to college. Then in 1996, Jones was also unable to compete in the Atlanta Games because of an injury. Despite this, she was competing in other international level competitions and doing very well for herself. And finally, after years of scheduling conflicts and bad timing, in 2000, Marion made her Olympic debut. Like we said earlier, she received multiple medals, but eventually time would label her a cheater. Her ex-husband, CJ Jones, an Olympic shot putter, was a known dope user who told the court that he'd witnessed his wife at the time use performance-enhancing drugs. Outrage resulted and Marion was forced to give up her medals after seven years when she finally confessed herself in 2007. 
she's been officially disqualified and banned from competing in future games. Since the scandal, Marion has moved on with her life, settled down, and started a family. But the ghost of Olympic shame still dwells over her. Number 5. Backflip You'd think since the Olympics are the place for peak athleticism that there'd be little to no rules preventing any tricks, right? Well, not exactly. There's a few exceptions, especially when it comes to sports like ice skating. Some moves are seen as too dangerous for skaters to perform, even if they're able to do it. The skills just aren't allowed because it'd be too big of a liability. What's an example of this, you might ask? Backflips and frontflips. While expected and encouraged in gymnastics, are strongly looked down upon in the skating community. It seems strange for someone who isn't familiar with the rules, but if an athlete can do it, why shouldn't they be allowed to do it? And honestly, we agree, but that's just not how it works. Surya Bonnelly was an extremely talented skater from France that made international headlines in the 1998 Nagano Olympics for an illegal move that she pulled. After suffering from an injury shortly before the games, Bonnelly wasn't at her best, and as the events proceeded, she found herself in sixth place. It was an underwhelming position to be in, especially since it would be the last Olympics she'd compete in. She wanted to go out with a bang, and that she did. During one of her skates, she decided to throw caution to the wind. In her past, she'd done backflips on the ice multiple times, only at exhibitions and non-competitive events, though. At these Olympics, things were already not going her way, so she just did it. With a leap and a twist of faith, Bonnelly executed a beautiful backflip, landing on a single blade of glory. While the judges gave her large deductions for the move, causing her to end up in 10th place, news outlets around the world praised and raved about the flip. To this day, no one has replicated Bonnelly's actions in an Olympic level competition, and even if they did, it'd be surprising if they could pull it off as well as she did. Number 4. Gold Medal Killer Olympians are the so-called cream of the crop. In terms of physical fitness, they outshine most of us average humans by a light year. Even though they're strong or fast though, it doesn't mean they're completely without fault. In fact, there's quite a few Olympians with some dark secrets, just like the Paralympic runner from South Africa, Oscar Pistorius. He gained fame by proving someone in his condition, as a double-leg amputee, could achieve the unthinkable. Oscar had famously competed in the Summer Olympics after some controversy that he had an unfair advantage at the Paralympics. He was simply too fast, and he set records in multiple events. For such an acclaimed athlete, the press loved any news they could get about Oscar. In 2009, he was involved in a boat crash where empty bottles of alcohol were found strewn about the ship. Later that same year, he also got into some legal trouble for hurting a woman after a door was reportedly slammed on her. But by far, the worst has yet to come. A few years later, on Valentine's Day, Oscar's world was about to change. It was early in the morning when he took a gun and shot his girlfriend, the model, Reva Steenkamp, four times through the bathroom door. In interviews, he said that he thought it was an intruder, but evidence would suggest otherwise. With a history of violence in his past, the court found him guilty of murder. For killing Reva, he only got a 13-year sentence to prison, one that we believe should have been much longer. As an Olympian, Oscar inspired millions, but as a convicted felon, he's just a shell of his former self, left to rot for his actions behind bars. Number 3. Trying to Cope As we mentioned earlier, marijuana has helped many people get through hard times, but it still has a negative stigma around it. Shikari Richardson was a fan-favorite Olympic hopeful for the Tokyo Games earlier this year. She finished first in the trials for the 100-meter dash while sporting lashes and a killer hairstyle. People online were amazed by her and couldn't wait to see how she'd perform at the Games, but sadly, Shikari wasn't able to compete. After failing the drug test every athlete must take before the Olympics, she was suspended. She tested positive for marijuana and was taken off the roster. This decision sparked controversy online, and thousands came to her defense. The 21-year-old athlete had just lost her mother, and Shikari told press marijuana helped her cope with the tragic loss. 
Since she was from Oregon, the drug was actually legal in her state, but the Olympics still had it banned for competitors. Those who defended Richardson spoke out saying marijuana is not a performance-enhancing drug unlike dope or steroids, so why should she be punished for just trying to release a little stress? Despite this fact, it's unlikely weed will ever be allowed for Olympians anytime soon. While the United States is slowly but surely legalizing and exploring the positive aspects of marijuana, other countries in the world remain strictly against it. Until there's a global consensus, the ban will continue. It still doesn't lessen the blow of Shikari not being able to achieve her dream of running in the Olympics. Do you think Shikari should have been allowed to compete? Let us know what you think! And if you like this video so far, make sure you're subscribed to see more videos from us! Number 2. Bomb Marijuana is a gateway drug. At least that's what a lot of anti-pot believers claim. In reality, marijuana has many uses beyond recreational and has helped thousands of people with their health issues along with anxiety and mental health too. In the end though, everyone can make their decisions and opinions on it as long as they're willing to accept the consequences. Weed isn't legal in a majority of states in the US, so it makes sense that when one of the most famous Olympians of all time was caught smoking it, outrage and scandal ensued. Michael Phelps has won literal dozens of Olympic medals, making him appear superhuman. But even prolific athletes like Michael have to kick back and relax every so often. In 2009, a picture of Phelps leaked to the press. While at what looked to be a party of some sort at the University of South Carolina, Phelps was photographed taking a hit out of a bomb. This was just three months after his last Olympic Games in Beijing, where he made history by winning eight gold medals. The hype around his victory soon turned to judgment over his recreational activities. Surprisingly, once the news broke out, Michael took full responsibility over his actions, saying it was a lapse in judgment and that, as a role model, he should have known better. He received a three-month suspension from competing, but other than that, his career has gone on. In later interviews, he openly discussed the incident and looks back on it with a hint of regret. Number 1. Skating Rivals The Olympics is a competition for the best of the best athletes around the world. Every two years we tune in to either the summer or winter games and watch the competitors battle it out for the coveted gold medal. Some of these people have trained their entire lives for this chance, putting in countless hours of hard work, focusing on improving their sport to represent their country. But sometimes working hard isn't enough to earn you a spot on the team. For some sports like ice skating, it all comes down to the score the judges give you, and sometimes it can be biased. Recent examples show Simone Biles being scored unfairly simply because she's a stronger athlete than the rest. But without a doubt, the most famous example of a promising Olympian candidate that was robbed is the story of Nancy Kerrigan. You've probably heard her name paired with another talented skater, Tanya Harding. Back in 1994, both Nancy and Tanya were champion ice skating Olympic hopefuls. Things took a dark turn though when two days before the Olympic trials to determine who was on Team USA, Nancy was attacked. After her practice run, a man named Sean Eckert struck her leg with a baton. It turns out he had been hired by Tanya's ex-husband to carry out the job. This event caused a massive wave of controversy to swell up against Harding. Nancy was a fan favorite, beautiful and graceful on the ice, and a powerful competitor. Meanwhile, Tanya had all the skill without the grace. A jealousy and rivalry soon formed, and many believed Tanya was the mastermind behind her rival's attack. But to this day, it has never been confirmed. Shortly after the strike, Harding went on to win the gold medal in the U.S. Figure Skating Championship, giving her a spot on the Olympic team. Meanwhile, Nancy's injuries were too severe for her to compete. But the press and her fellow athletes had immense sympathy for her and decided to let her go to the Olympics despite not placing at the qualifiers. In perhaps a fate determined by karma, Tanya placed 8th at the games while Kerrigan won the silver medal. Ever since the attack, Harding has been shunned by the skating world and will never live down the accusations against herself. Thanks for watching everybody! Did you know about any of these Olympic scandals? What's your favorite Olympic event? Are you excited for Beijing 2022? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe! We'll see you next time on the Bad Badger!